Guys, welcome back. We've been filming on YouTube for over a year now, and let's just say we've had some cringe-worthy moments brought to you by my husband. Probably the cringiest golf YouTuber in the history of the world. Probably just the cringiest YouTuber in general. So most people would probably just do top 10. That's just not enough. I've done full categories. So let's get into number one, John being John. Guys, do you think I have a putter problem? This is actually only half of my collection. I need your help. You guys are gonna pick which putter I use. That's really good. It's really hot too. I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Parking lot's really hard to get into. We just like avoided that problem and Ashley's just running up the hill now. Yep, let's let's go to a little hiking video. Whoa, do slow-mo. Alright, I've got a fireside set up and John's basically agreed to indulge me in making fun of him, so. <laughs> I thought those were kind of funny. What's your definition of cringe? Ooh, you know it when you like feel it. <laughs> <laughs> what category do we have next then? John hitting the camera because he saw a lot of YouTubers who would punch the camera after every scene. He thought it was hysterical. So here's a few clips of John just basically blathering nonsense and then hitting the camera and walking <laughs> off. So, enjoy. <laughs> Zero, $300 driver can compete with this bad boy. The Infinity Propulsion. Pick this up at Goodwill for three bucks. 300 versus three dollars. Let's see who comes out on top. What? Is the, uh, the other blade. So uh, yeah, let's see how she fares from 100 yards in. And we're gonna test it on the fairways, tee boxes, and anywhere else I find fun. So stay tuned. Do that again. The funny thing is, in that second clip, I didn't hit a single shot in that entire video, so I have no idea why I was walking around the entire video with a glove, but <laughs> I have no excuses for my actions, guys. That's the least weird thing that you normally wear. Look at his current outfit. The next category is just called style. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, guys? John Armstrong back with another No BS Golf Ball Review. Today, we are looking at the Vice excited and nervous and nervous why are you nervous we haven't played golf in quite a while we're playing golf <laughs> <laughs> plain to see i haven't learned much in the way of style got a goofy looking visor with a menards hoodie <laughs> menards not a sponsor but that would be pretty sweet uh i have no excuses the beard definitely in full bloom and not trim so that was a bad one in that first clip belt buckle a solid seven inches uh, off the, yeah. off the, what is it called? Offline? Yeah, some of that was totally my fault. I should have caught that, so that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next category you got for us? Yeah. If you think John gets excited about finding Scotty Cameron's or other golf clubs, wait until you watch him fish. Oh, <laughs> no words, just enjoy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this thing feels huge on this little rod. <laughs> so careful not to break off. Six pound mono, Florida bass. Oh, he's huge, he's huge. Oh my God, <laughs> he's huge. Get up here, boy, get up here. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh, he's huge, ultralight. Six pound mono, let's get some guys! Look at this thing, look at this thing. $25, six pound mono, are you kidding me? Chunk, this is a four, four and a half pound back bass. Oh my God, on the $25 rod guys, I think we proved that it works. Huh. Oh my God, let's get a release on this guy. I don't care if I get bitten by alligator for you dude. I don't know what's wrong with that one. I got enthusiastic, maybe a little over enthusiastic. <laughs> I think I said it's a big fish on a tiny rod seven times in that 40 seconds. So 
I mean, it was a big fish on a tiny rod, so if you guys fish, you might you might find that as interesting as I did, but yeah, I don't most know. of it was just funny. Some of it was cringeworthy. Though. <laughs> it's a little over the top. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of over the top, John used to find it hysterical to pop out of the car at the intro of the videos. I thought it was funny. I still kind of think it's funny, but looking back, it's kind of cringeworthy. Yeah, it's not the best first impression on a video when you have like a goofy looking dude just popping out of a car. Well, yeah. Yeah, you'll y see. You'll see. <laughs> Guys, welcome. Guys, welcome back to. Guys, welcome back to. Thrift shop number five, guys. Pretty good day so far, if you ask me. Nothing tremendous. We didn't find any Scotty cameras or anything yet, but we did find some tailor made woods. Thrift shop number five, we might actually see my mom. She comes here all the time. I'm looking around at the cars. I don't see her car, but my dad could be across the street at the 7 Eleven. Uh, taking care of business, going poop or something. He likes to do that. Looking back, it probably wasn't the best decision to pop out of a car at the beginning of every single video, especially when you're a golf channel and it made no sense whatsoever. I would like pop out of the car and then all of a sudden be like hitting a shot. So yeah, nothing we do <laughs> makes sense. So there's no, no, no. <laughs> there's nothing going on that makes sense. No, absolutely not. Also, speaking of not making sense, wearing sunglasses at all time, including indoors. So uh, we'll explain that after, but <laughs> yeah, looking back. Definitely cringeworthy. <laughs> guys made it inside there is a ton of clothing not sure if there's any golf clubs they had like a pricing sheet in the front oh. didn't see anything about golf clubs what is this when i was a kid every uh kid... oh god no oh. <laughs> guys when i was a kid everybody used to all right, so sunglasses in the store. I know it looks kind of goofy, but if you've ever filmed yourself, it's really hard to like yeah. figure out where to look at. So you can like close your eyes and no one can see. You can just keep filming and like closing your eyes the entire time. And it doesn't look goofy because you got sunglasses on. So that was the reasoning behind that. I think but it's mainly that we're looking around a lot because we're in a store where we might get yelled at or we're on a golf course where there might be balls being hit at us. Yeah, so, flying I mean... golf balls was definitely an occurrence where we used to play, so. Yeah. So. That's why we would do that. Speaking of weird things that we would wear, Ashley already told me the next category. <laughs> and you guys love to make fun of them. Here they are. The Crocs. <laughs> See? It's all mental. Birdies! From that face alone, I know John found some Crocs. I found some Crocs golf shoes to go with my Crocs. Well. I'll wear them separately, but yeah, spikeless Crocs golf shoes. I don't even know they made these. My size, it's fake, guys. And rock the Crocs on the golf course, too. Crocs in socks, all day. All day. I know you like to make fun of the Crocs, but I have a confession to make. I've joined Team Crocs. Team Crocs, and not only are they Crocs, they're Flamingo Crocs, so that's become a cringeworthy <laughs> thing for our channel. We always find Flamingos, but uh, yeah, if you think it's weird how I interact with my beautiful wife, Wait until you see me interact with other humans. <laughs> this next category is called Human Interactions. Yeah, we found these at a thrift store and I recognize one of the names. I think this is Norm Duke, but not sure who the other ones are. I am that guy. Do you know how much something like that might be worth? Uh, probably about nothing. Nothing? <laughs> something you want to have, maybe? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, wrecker. So, low-end reactive balls. Did you hear that little dude? He said I had low-end reactive balls. That wasn't very nice, but... We're usually not this awkward. This is our first time asking somebody <laughs> to hit ah, a club. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we met Alex right here. We're waiting on a five-some. Uh, we're gonna see if he wants to hit it, and uh, right, we already said you want to hit it. See, I told you I was gonna make a fool of myself. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, up here on the next tee. Looks like we got a five-some ahead of us, and uh, Alex is waiting. Asked him if he wanted to hit the driver. He said he was gonna. So, uh, that was bad too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got some old fashioned licorice right here. We're gonna give it a try. What flavor do you think? Um, well, strawberries always everyone's favorite. Okay, strawberry. Yeah. Oh, man. Isn't it good? That's like a real, that's like a really, really good Twizzler. It tastes right, like exactly like it. it. Doesn't have 
I don't understand what was wrong with that. I was super nice to that lady. I tried her licorice and it was delicious. Was <laughs> yeah. that it? It was like a rap lyric. Licorice is delicious. <laughs> no, but that is funny. It was mainly the fact that you told her that they tasted like Twizzlers. I mean, uh, I guess really, I, really good Twizzlers though. So yeah, that was... <laughs> I guess it was like making fun of her business directly to her face. Yeah, but... that was bad. That's cringeworthy, I guess. Yeah. Also, if you ever do meet us in person, we're just awkward. Sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, it's gonna be an awkward conversation, but don't hesitate to say hello to yeah, us now that we're we tell you about. awkward. So yeah. at least there's that. So what do we got going on next? John jokes. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I'm like a premature dad. Dad jokes. Yeah, he's already started. Premature dad. Dad. That didn't make any sense, but enjoy. <laughs> I think I'll do better with my short game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, how much are these? Seven bucks. Can't beat that for some uh, Hogan princess. That's just cool. <laughs> Should I say it? What? For my princess. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Ashley, why is it so hot out? That is the answer. There's no reason for it to be this hot out. <laughs> it is. That was a good ending. Let's do that. <laughs> the way I've been playing lately, guys, I might need a calculator on my watch. Are you not my princess? This is what I have to deal with all the time. <laughs> I thought it was funny. The dad jokes. Premature dad jokes. He's got them for days. So. Yeah. What do we got going on next? Magnet fishing. So since we have a GoPro, we film just about anything. John thought he found a safe in the water though. It was a safe. Yeah, it was a safe, but I, I think you just need to see it and then we'll talk about it after. <sighs> Guys, should I type in? What if it's not a safe? I'll look like an idiot. <laughs> oh God, it's so much deeper than you think it is. Oh goodness, this sucks. This was stupid. This was stupid. You see that? No idea what that is. But it is not coming home with us today. No. Hold on, let me get closer. Oh my god. That thing is huge. What is? Oh! oh what did you what just... is this? What, what is this? <laughs> Is it magnet? What did you show us? I have about? no idea. That's gigantic though. It's definitely metal. Alright. Let's try and get out of here. Fat man. Oh. Oh. Nice. One take on that one. Guys, that was not worth it. Never doing that again. All right guys, hopefully you liked today's video. We definitely have enough footage probably for a lot more. Volume two, three, four, and five? Yeah, we also have a lot of, just because we have a camera, a fishing video, so we can show you all our big catches and magnet fishing mostly fails, but hysterical. So let us know if you wanna see those and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and you get to do it this time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys. Also, that was a safe. I dove into the water, it was a safe. So that's pretty cool. I found a safe in a canal somewhere, but. And it was good footage, so there's that too. Yep, we'll see you next time. <laughs>